Ain't life beautiful? Hey everyone, this is Paul. I believe my favorite movie would have to be the 1997 film Life is Beautiful, La Vita Bella, featuring Italian actor, and in this case, director and writer, Roberto Benigni, who plays Guido. Now Guido is an Italian, Jewish Italian, who moves to a town of Reso, Italy, where his uncle lives, to open a bookstore. He's passionate about books. Now he's working at a restaurant to make ends meet. When there, he sees this beautiful, wealthy woman Dora, this young woman. He calls her princess every time he sees her, and he falls for her hard. But she has this boyfriend, this rich guy, who you know buys her things but doesn't treat her very well. And he keeps catching her eye, doing silly, goofy things. He's a hilarious actor, and the character is very funny. So what do you think happens? Eventually, he gets her. She falls for him. And much to the dismay of her family, they get married. So now they have a five-year-old son five years later, uh, Yosu. Now, I'm not Italian. That sounded Asian almost, but his name is Yosu. Um, but unfortunately, they get rounded up by the Nazis at this point, taken to a concentration camp. Now Guido, Roberto Benini, at this point decides how can he shield his son from what's going on that's so terrible and painful. He decides to make it all a game from the very beginning. He says, oh, they're here, we, we won this prize, we're part of this incredible contest. If we get a thousand points, we win a real tank. It may take a long time, but we're so lucky to be a part of this. His five-year-old son buys it, and he makes all these games about having to eat very little to get ahead, and having to do hard work and earning certain points every day. It's just really incredible how deep it goes, and it's a very long film. And it's just very sad at the same time, because you see all the suffering going on around them. And somehow the father's able to turn it all around and make it into a game or say it's pretend or say they're actors. They're trying to make it hard on them so they don't win. At the very end, something terrible happens and we realize that it's been the son narrating the movie the whole time. Um, and it's very powerful, very moving. At the end, I think I was just crying buckets of tears and I think I was just crying out like, oh my God, happy tears, sad tears, just incredibly powerful emotions. It's a very beautiful film and if you haven't seen it, I really recommend it. It's subtitled English. It's just amazing. Life is beautiful. La vita e bella. Featuring Roberto Benini. Now, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're having a wonderful evening and bye-bye.